Welcome to the Google workshop on federated learning and analytics. My name is Marco Kutisse, and uh, together with my colleague uh, Peter Kairis, uh, we'll be guiding you through the, this workshop today. Um, for those in uh, outside the US, I hope that the switch to daylight saving or to end daylight savings this weekend didn't cause schedule confusion. But uh, I suspect we may have some well-rested attendees inside the US that uh, will love to see the, the extra energy in the discussions today. Um, next slide, please. We are de delighted uh, to have you all here today and uh, to share with uh, the, the latest research in federated learning, also in particular in, in federated analytics and the complementary privacy enhancing technologies. Uh, this is a, an opportunity for us to share some of the, the work we're doing with Google, but also an opportunity for us uh, to learn about the fantastic academic research uh, that is happening in this field. Um, we're particularly interested in discussing with you some of the algorithmic systems and skill challenges uh, that we experience in this area. And uh, hopefully this workshop will, will foster collaborations and, and partnerships. Um, we are also interested in promoting more awareness and uh, use of open source tools uh, in this research area. Um, and uh, we have some Google tools available, uh, Google TensorFlow Federated and TensorFlow Privacy that we'd uh, love to tell you more about over the course of, of this workshop. Uh, that said, we've had a tremendous response to this, uh, to this workshop and uh, we have a somewhat uh, packed program. And so I'll not waste any more time and uh, pass it on to, to Peter, who will give you a quick overview of the program and logistics. Thanks, Marco. And hi, everyone. This is Peter. So today we're going to have a few academic keynotes followed by Google and faculty led talks and breakout sessions. And tomorrow we're going to have another set of academic keynotes followed by Google and faculty led talks. But the interesting thing is we're going to also have poster session uh, at the end of day two with more than 25 very interesting posters. Day three is optional, but we strongly recommend it for you, your colleagues, students, and friends. It's about research tutorials and demos. Please RSVP if you haven't and share the link with all your friends and colleagues. Next slide, please. All right, so for today, we have a set of lightning talks, two parallel tracks, as you can see, eight talks per track. We're going to have moderators. For track one, please stay on this call, on this Google Meet. And for track two, you will have to change the website. We'll share a link with you when time comes. Next slide, please. We also have a lot of great talks that we couldn't feature as live short talks, but they're all on our websites. So please take some time, maybe today or tomorrow, to view those talks and we would be discussing a lot of them during the breakout sessions today and the poster session tomorrow. So please watch these recorded talks. Next slide, please. All right, so we also have eight breakout tracks spanning all the way from system challenges to analytics, optimization, fairness and bias, trusted, secure, robust aggregations, IoT, new emerging applications, so on and so forth. One thing you'll notice is there's no session on privacy, especially on differential privacy. That's because we believe that pretty much all these sessions are going to contain privacy in one way or another. So we hope you will join us for these interesting breakout discussion sessions. And if you can take a minute to go to our website, there is a doc for each one of these breakout sessions. You can mark your attendance in one of those docs. This will help us balance the load throughout the day. Next slide, please. All right, so finally, please keep your microphone on mute if you're not speaking. And if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to shoot us an email at federatedlearning-workshop2021 at google.com. We will help you right away. And if you have any questions that you would like to ask, you can submit them in the in-call messages chat box. And we hope you'll enjoy this conference. So next slide. All right, so to get started, it's my pleasure to introduce Eva. 
Uh, Eva is a senior director at Google. She's leading the org under which Fed the Federated Learning team is. Prior to Google, Eva spent time at many different companies, including Facebook and Microsoft, and she would like to welcome you all. So Eva, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you, Peter. Uh, welcome everyone to the workshop on Federated Learning and Analytics. Uh, we really appreciate you joining us to learn about our research and also share the research that you're doing across of this community. Uh, next slide. So as a reminder, Federated Learning is a very broad area. It covers many different approaches and research directions. Uh, it's an algorithmic setting for any machine learning and analytics without centralized data collection and with privacy by default. Uh, it includes uh, federated, so cross-device learning to train global models on the decentralized data stored across different devices. It also includes local device learning to train custom models. Uh, for each user on their own devices. Uh, it includes federated analytics uh, to compute statistics from decentralized data and federated computation for broad spectrum, spectrum operations on decentralized data. Uh, this research area also touches on a lot of other relevant topics such as, uh, uh, as Peter mentioned, privacy. It also touches on security, optimization, personalization, and other relevant research areas. Uh, our team is also developing TensorFlow Federated as an open source project, and uh, that's why uh, the last day of tutorials uh, will highlight some of that technology and give you hands-on experience with it. Um, federated learning is critical across Google. It allows us to provide great functionality with higher privacy guarantees. Um, it's used in core Google products like Android and for fundamental research across a wide range of areas, including health, language, and search. Uh, it enables research that could not have been possible without it. Um, we believe that this area requires broad collaboration across academia and industry more broadly. And this is why we're organizing this workshop. Uh, academic collaborations are uh, very important for Google. Uh, um, it, they help infuse fresh ideas uh, and um, new ways of thinking about problems. It bring, they bring opportunity to learn from world-class experts, uh, to collaborate with best researchers in the field and long-term engagements uh, through uh, different collaborations, um, through student researchers, faculty researchers. Um, uh, we also uh, think that they're helpful for academia. Um, they uh, allow for explorations of projects at industry scale. Uh, they bring new data and complex uh, production environments into the collaboration uh, and uh, allow for use of world-class computing infrastructure. Uh, they also give a chance to deploy research in a form that will be used by millions of people. Uh, Google supports a number of different varieties of uh, academic collaborations, and this workshop is just one of them. Uh, we are interested in hearing how we can best support uh, this community, so, so please share your ideas with us, uh, and uh, please let us know how we can improve this workshop as well as other engagements. Uh, in this workshop, we look forward to sharing some of our thinking uh, and experience with federated learning at Google and to learning uh, from uh, you and from the academic community. Um, as a quick reminder, again, the goals of this workshop are to share the latest research related to federated learning, federated analytics, uh, and complementary privacy enhancing techniques. Um, discuss algorithmic system and scale challenges in production deployments, establish collaborations and partnerships, and promote research utilizing Google's open source TensorFlow Federated and TensorFlow Privacy. Uh, thank you again for joining and participating in this workshop. Uh, I'll hand it off to uh, Peter to introduce the other speakers. Thank you, everyone.